What's up, you guys? FSC Trucking. See that back there? That don't look like fun. So trying to be in a little bit of a hurry. I've got to take care of some stuff to get Orwell ready to go to get to the West Coast. Once we get done with that, we'll be ready to fly later. So uh, it's kind of busy. I have to change oil, fil oil filters. I got to change fuel filters in the truck. Um, I got to look at a couple other things to it real quick before we go. Um, I don't know if that weather's going to hold up or not. It's one of those things. Do I work outside? Do I work inside? I don't know. Well, let's figure it out. Because if I go inside, I got to move the motor home. Work out here really ain't a big deal. I don't know. It's just one of those days. Oh boy, it's like we're just in time. I'm hearing the thunder and it's starting to drizzle. So I think I think the weather made my decision for me. Either way, we gotta fire up or well. boys and girls well as you could see it's raining so <laughs> got in just in a nick of time that worked out good so anyway here's what we got going on so last time i serviced the truck i had made a mistake and to try to get the oil to drain out of the cab faster what i did was i opened this up and in there you could telescope out to uh check your oil or add oil well, I left the telescope out and then I tilted the cab and then I tilted it back without scoping it back in. And when I lowered the cab, it crushed it. 
so it doesn't telescope like it should anymore. See, it's out all the way now. You can't get a funnel to it. So I gotta try to straighten that up. So now what I gotta do is raise up the cab. Uh, when we put the green APU, we relocated the cab jack to this side. So now I just raise up the cab and uh, while I'm up there, We'll change the fuel filters out. I already took the stuff out of the cab, so that way when the cab goes over, uh, I don't have to worry about anything falling out of the sleeper and hitting the windshield. That's an old problem with cab overs, right? Oh, either way, let me go ahead and get that done. I'll be back to you in a second. All right, boys and girls, now I got the cab jacked up, and uh, I want to go ahead and show you what I found under here. I already grabbed it and bent it back a little bit, but set the light up, see what I mean here. So this is the piece right here that telescopes out for your oil fill right here. And this is your dipstick tube. Now this piece here is bent. See it crushed in? Shine the light better. There. And it's bolted to the frame on that bracket right there. So it looks like three bolts and it's off. And then it goes to a hose underneath the big Luma hose. And then it goes from there into the uh, block right there. See it? This goes down into the engine block. So that's how you fill it through there. So that piece might be available from Peterbilt, but I would like to try to bend it back so at least I could check the oil easier. Okay, see, I can't really get access. See, I can't really get access to the dipstick tube the way it is. So I want to try to like bend it that way a bit somehow. Just being up that way more, it might solve the problem. I don't know. I get to always try it. Alrighty, so now what we're going to do is take these fill filters off. This one's actually a filter and a water separator at the same time. That one's out. This one grips a little. Let's take it down, put it right in the tan. Side the other one. There we go. Now they're off. Alright, now we're running into the storeroom real quick. Get fuel filter, fuel water separator. And of course, oil filters, that's for when we actually do a service. All right, here we go. Oh man, I got crap all over me now, look at that. All right, well, here we go. Now I just gotta put fuel in the filters and uh, that'll be that. Put them on a the truck. Now this is diesel fuel from the gas station locally. I just uh, transfer from five gallon containers into an empty gallon container, makes it easier to pour. Yeah. 
full. Now take your O-ring, keep that for later. Coffee cans are quite useful. I set up the light this time. Hopefully it'll make it better. So on the filter water separator side, right here you got this O-ring. Change that out. Take that old one out. Wet the new one a little with your fingers. Just feel a little deal. Thread it on there. Make sure it's loose. Good to go. Take your new filter. Thread it on. Now it says right on there, lube the O-ring there. Turn to contact plus three-quarter turn. Trust me, three-quarter turn is too much. Like a lot too much. So let's contact it. That's all you need. Hand tight. That's about it. That might have been a three-quarter turn, I'm not really sure. Either way, there you go. Here's your water separator. Your other one here, same basic deal. Make sure your O-ring is lubed. There is no inner O-ring, so you're good there. Get them up in there. And on the filter, it says contact well, it's just hand, and then turn, then plus one full turn. So, this one was very tight coming off. I don't remember if I put this on or if Terry put it on. I honestly don't remember. So, I do hand tight, basically. There you go. We'll see when I take it apart if that's too much or not. But obviously I have the big enough wrench to take it off so there we go now the next thing you do get the little bit of air that's in the system out unscrew your primer pump this is a caterpillar thing I don't know anybody else that runs these you pump it you can put your filters in with no fuel but you'll be sitting at this primer pump for quite a long time just pump Believe me, that ain't no fun. Once it gets hard, like real stiff, you'll know it. You'll feel it. Push in and tighten. Once it threads, tighten her down. Till snug, and then you're good to go. Okay, that's done. All right, the only other thing I want to do now is uh, go ahead and change this angle. See, it's getting close to the tire. I think over time it had rotated. I don't know what came loose. If it came loose from the bar or if the bar had slid a little. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that loose. I guess tight now. Perfect. Excellent. Alrighty, we're good to go. Put the cab down now.
sometimes I have to guide the cab locks in on this side. See how it is here. Well, better. Right there, see? Now it's serviceable. Oil's good too. Sweet, that's all I really wanted. still just one alrighty so what I have here is simply a bucket of grease and a gardening trowel There are drivers out there that have polished aluminum fifth wheels. And I guess they look good. You don't see it on their trailer. Well, for me, as you can tell, it's nice to have shiny stuff, but this is way more practical. and get the grease on there. I'm starting to think Terry didn't grease these after we installed them. I know he greased them up before he put them on.
I'm not going to have you watch me do the whole truck, but the hardest ones to get are these here on this trailer, or these types of trailers. It's this one in here. It's the hardest one to get. There you go.